All right, I wasn't gonna do a crop report, but uh, I wanted to show off some of these beans. I'm uh, I'm almost amazed. Now I got some some ragweed coming in here everywhere, but that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to spray. Ah. Uh, yeah, the stand in this field is almost beautiful. Uh, and I don't know. You can see the spacing. There's a few of them close together, but it's been an ideal year for me. Uh, I can't complain. We've had rain at the right time. And it's almost a shame to drive across that. It looks like carpet. So, anyhow, that's the neighbor's corn over there. It doesn't look too bad either. It was planted before any of mine. Uh, we're expecting a week full of 80 and 90 degree days here. So, we just come off a week of rain. So, hopefully, get the spraying done. I spent yesterday spraying my first corn. And, uh, I'm real happy with it the second corn that I had planted because of rain delay was it'll be a week or two here do I have to spray it so I'm gonna get started here I got the 2940 and the three-point hitch sprayer well I'm happy with the spacer on that too this is just really a nice nice feel this is the first first field of beans I planted so this year so. all right I'll bring it back thanks for watching that takes some horsepower coming up across there Can't get his ends lined up here. You gotta leave the skipper. He'll do all right. This hay ain't near as heavy as that stuff old Ed Gosling's got out there in Oregon. It smells good though. Should have been made two weeks ago, but it's been raining around here, so. Here it is. You get this little piece cut here, and uh, I got three or four acres over at uh, my brother-in-law's. And that'll be it. I didn't show any baling, because, uh, oh heck, it's been busy around here. And, I had some pictures I'll put up, but uh, yeah, I was just up there under a high tension line spraying, and I was a little concerned. I got up there. First of all, there was a bunch of weeds, and second of all the beans looked a little funny and I couldn't put my finger on what was wrong with them this is the bean plant now it's welded from laying on the tractor but the leaves are all curled up there these ones seem to be all right but those ones are curled up that's up there you can see where I come across here 
that's up there at the far corner and then it dawned on me the neighbors got a field of oats up there and uh I'd have to guess that uh, he had a little overspraying because it's it's only between the high tension lines and the oats it's curled up like that and I think that's what happened to them I think they got a little bit of overdrift from the 2,4-D from the oats and uh, stunted them I don't know if it'll be any good or not but whole field didn't like it uh, the bottom half of it seems to be fine it was a good time to get in there and spray it because the ragweed was still young and and I'm sure it'll kill it. And I'm spraying uh, uh, Liberty Link Gluso Glusophate or glu Glusophate, whatever, however you say it, but it's uh, Liberty Link. And uh, I didn't spray this this next field up here where I come across there. Uh, that's 12 acres and uh, that'll be tomorrow night's job tonight. We're gonna get this hay cut. So all right. Thanks for watching All right, I'm up here uh, Breaking hay I got the 1550 And the day before the hay rate the Guys come in this morning had a bent tractor and a 30 foot mower mowed all that. We're up there with a high tension job. They did not mess around. Uh, I met the guy. Internet fella, really nice. He's got a dairy for his feet and dry towels. A bunch of grass in it. Anyhow. That's the bean field. I think it looks pretty good. Not too many weeds started in it. We're gonna try to uh, get this bailed up here today. I just tend it at about 11 o'clock. It's probably going on two now. It, uh, it was green yet this morning when I rolled it over. We got a little bit of rain overnight. Not enough to damage it, but all uh, oh, enough to make the road wet. This is a heavy deal. Anyhow, that's what I'm doing. We're going to try to get this raked up so we can bail it up and be done with it. Uh, I'll mow this here and the piece down there, too. Who knows, maybe tomorrow. The weather looks alright the rest of the week. I'll be done with first cutting hay. And I do have two or three acres over my brother. So. Alright, we're gonna get this done here. I think I'm gonna kick her up in here. The other neighbors, they got theirs all mowed, bailed, 